Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be taking on Dr. Teo with all warriors, just like we used to do way, way, way back in the day. We're going to be retraining, but I don't think we're going to lose any. I have a very good suspicion that uh, these Dr. Teos are a lot easier. The good thing about these Dr. Teos guys is you could do the, you could do the whole thing with your boost, Celan, with warriors at least. So if you lose a troop, you're able to retrain it and did it in time before it was like a scrunch for time. Um... At least for me it was, and because I always wanted to fit in an operation attack with that, so I it would be like going down for to like two minutes, I would be attacking my operation attack left on my boost, but now I could ready to clear my whole map and then do my operation attack, which is awesome. So, my la weapon lab is going up to level five, it's gonna be done in two days, and my critters are going up to level four, and then I'll be able to hold nine critters per box. So, my weapon lab, I think I'm going to try to get the 100% defensive damage boost and the doom cannon. Because I think those are the two best. I don't know if you could get two 100% damage boosts. That would be awesome. Getting two of those. And then I wonder if they stack. If they stack, having like a 200, oh my gosh, that would like one shot cannon. So, it's first Dr. Terror stage. I, I'm going to have to look up that. Try to do that at least. First Dr. Terror stage. I only need to devour for artillery. I boosted up my resource reward just because I'm kind of low on resources because at last night I farmed so hard that 4.9 million resources is harder than you guys think to get. Like, I got it before I needed it, but then I lost it all and then I got it back. So, in, you have to get it in like two days. You have to get that much. Um, from level 3 to 4, and then you want to, if you want to start it right away, you need to get that much in 2 days, and that's what I did, which was amazing. But it was more like I got it all in one day, one sitting, boosted up, it just attack, attack, attack. Anyway guys, I'm on tear stage 2, I probably could have done this with critters, but I didn't. Um, here we go. So, my warriors are able to unrun this shock launcher, which is awesome, and this HQ is going to go down soon. Look at the health on that HQ. So low. Okay, and guys, I'm trying to do these daily uploads like there's a new event each day, so I'm trying to keep up with that new event, try to get that new event out each day for you guys. So, Dr. Terror Stage 2 goes down, and now we're going to move on to Dr. Terror Stage 3. I definitely love the seven stages. I think, personally, guys, I think there's a lot more loot in the game. Um, it's more spread out, I should say. So, like, tomorrow, I'm going to boost up statues again, attack Dr. Terror again, and it just gets a lot easier to defeat him, um, I, I think. And it's a lot easier to, one, defeat him, and it's a lot easier to get the loot and the power stones and I think there's gonna be a big like power stone increase in the game and I might have to do a tiny nerf because you get that much power stones every other day for two days so it's just kind of crazy so yes this stage I'm gonna retreat because I wanted to save all my critters and um yeah so let's go back and let's try it again I wanted to, I mean I wanted to place down more critters in just one critter box and I'm gonna play this a lot safer so first, I'm going to take down these boom cannons in this cannon, because that's my main priority, because they're going to one-shot my critters. Okay, here we go. Now we'll take down this mortar on the far, the left side, because the left side's going to hit it, and then I'll place my critters on the right side, so the mortar, that mortar won't hit it. I think I got down five, five critter places, five critter placements. So boom, mine. Mines are pretty deadly against critters, guys. But I think critters, critters are mostly used for, like, doing this with critters. Yeah, you can do it on low levels, but I think critters are mostly used for distracting buildings. I think that's the most valuable. And I'm going to be making a video soon. It's resource reward. I am able to be any resource reward base, guys, that doesn't have, like, an insane, like, over 100% damage boost or health boost. I'm able to beat that with warriors. And before, that was, like, practically impossible. Yes, I got a gear, which is awesome. I needed a gear. Um, I'm just trying to collect all these pow all these prototype, whatever you call it, prototype modules or something. Okay, prototype resources. Here we go. Tear stage 4. I think I'm going to try to take this one on with critters also. So, the main things that are hitting it are the mortars and the sniper tower. So, that's the things we're going to have to take down first. So, there we go. All taken down. I have a 80 energy and let's place our critters. Here we go. Critters are all placed, and the sniper tower is not in range, which is good, because then I could just focus on placing artillery on the HQ instead of medkits. Here we go, Terror Stage 4 goes down, and now we're going to move on to Terror Stage 5, and we only have, like, a couple Terror Stages left, which is awesome, because I 
Like I said before, yes, I love the seven stages of Dr. Terror. Victory! Lots of gold this this time. Uh, I needed a lot of gold because last night I had to spend seven million gold on the critters. Uh, insane, insane, insane. I don't know. I think it was HQ19 you needed to unlock the critters. So we're going to have to add another thing into the game, guys. Personally, I think it's going to be an ability, so it fills up that eight slot. Um, so two abilities in the robo, that's kind of odd. Um, I think it's gonna be an ability though, unlock at HQ20, and before guys, every new thing they add, it costs more and more money, even though it might not be as valuable, like, I think the sculptor is a lot more valuable than the weapon lab, so I think, I think they should raise the resources on some of the buildings, because I think some of the buildings are kind of cheap and stuff, but, whatever guys. So this, uh, rocket launcher is tearing apart my, my poor little critters. Shock launchers are the worst thing because it shocks the critters. And then rocket launchers are the next worst thing. So I think this is going to be my last stage I'll be able to take down with critters. Um, we'll see what Tail Stage 6 looks like though. Okay, so the HQ has very little health and this, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it. I think I'll be able to get it. This rocket launcher is barely taking down my critters. Um, yep, we'll be able to get it. Luckily. It, um, the more critters that die, the less firepower you have on the HQ, but it goes down anyway, guys. It goes down anyway, without any troops lost. So, Terror Stage 5, without any troops lost, that is insane. That's awesome, guys. I was thinking I would have to retrain my troops that like Terror Stage 5 and stuff, but I think I would if I didn't use critters. That's just what I think. Okay, so Terror Stage 5 goes down. Terror Stage 6, here we come. Cornelius, I haven't used that name in so long for Dr. Terror. Uh, for you, for those of you that are new, so a long, long time ago, probably when, when we first started, me and Jimmy were like, okay, Dr. Terror, we need a name for Dr. Terror. Like, yeah, Terror might be his last name or something, but we need a name for Dr. Terror. So we were like, okay, we were thinking of a name, and Jimmy's like, what about Cornelius? And we're like, yes, that's, that's like an evil name, Cornelius. So, Cornelius Terror. Uh, if you won't think Terror is his last name, or you think that's just the name he gave him, whatever you think. So, if you guys have a cooler name, post it down below, but I think I, I love the name Cornelius, guys. I love the name Cornelius for Dr. Terror. Okay, so, now we're moving on to Terror Stage 6. We're on Terror Stage 6. We're on the HQ. I'm gonna be taking this down. Let me go, also, guys, if you think Dr. Terror, we're gonna bring up the prototype modules in Dr. Terror. That would be insane. That would be so hard. Um, just... I would like to know what your thoughts are, and if Super still said it anywhere. So, I have enough for three shocks here. Three shocks. Let's place all those shocks down, and my troops are on the HQ. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to... Okay, I took down those buildings, which is good. And this is so close. Yes, I did not lose a single one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, those guys are still living. One more motive. That was all those troops clumps, so we're gonna die. So, yes, Terror Stage 6 goes down without losing any troops, guys. That is insane. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to beat Terror Stage 7 without losing any troops. Which is gonna be awesome if I can. Okay, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Terror Stage 7, here I come. Okay, it looks pretty, pretty dang hard. Okay. Um, lots of mines here. I'm gonna take out these mines. Uh, I hate, I hate to spend this much on mines. And this blue mine up here is just gonna be a pain in the butt. So let's place another, let's place another artillery on him. Okay. Um, that would just, that would just be a pain in the butt to lose. I would probably lose like seven, eight warriors off that. And then more damage. Okay, so this is a hard beach to land on. I probably should have, uh, pre-smoked here, but I didn't. And looks like a shock launcher shocked me. I'm losing a lot of troops here, guys. Landing is one of the most important parts of Warriors, and I just completely butchered my landing here. So I lost two, four, six. Uh, I lost a lot of Warriors. More than six, actually. Now that I lost more. I lost, like, nine Warriors, which is insane, because... Nine warriors, guys. That's a lot of warriors. So now I have 53 warriors on the HQ. I'll be able to have enough for shock, so that shouldn't be such too big of a deal. So let's shock, shock, shock. Okay, I had enough for three shocks, which is good. And I could place, let's place our critters on the HQ. Just, I probably should have placed that off the HQ so the buildings get distracted, but I was just thinking maybe firepower would be more helpful. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video, guys. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, we'll get some prototype resources. Here we go. Come on. Be there. Be there. Be there. Be there. I need more. 
Yes! Yes, okay, I got a power rod. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you are, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.